Te whanau, a help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. And let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. Tēnā koutou, and good morning and welcome to our morning prayer for today, Tuesday. As we enter into our first week of Advent, uh, a season to wait for Christmas as we think about the story of Christmas and as we consider what it means to be attentive and alert, waiting for the return of our Lord Jesus. Our first reading for today is taken from Matthew chapter 12, and we're going to have verse 22. And then they brought to him a demon-possessed man who was blind and mute, and he cured him, so that the one who had been mute could speak and see. All the crowds were amazed and were saying, Can this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, It is only by Beelzebub, the ruler of demons, that this man casts out the demons. He knew what they were thinking and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste. And no city or house divided against itself will stand. If Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your own exorcists cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man? And then indeed the house can be plundered. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. Therefore I tell you, people will be forgiven for every sin and blasphemy, but blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for the tree is known by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you speak good things when you are evil? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. The good person brings good things out of a good treasure, but the evil person brings evil things out of an evil treasure. I tell you, on the day of judgment, you will have to give an account for every careless word you utter, for by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Let's take a few moments to reflect uh, on any particular phrase or word that caught your mind or attention uh, during that reading. So we join together in the words of our examine an opportunity to offer our day to God. Today is a fresh day. It is a good day because you have made it. Therefore, it is full of possibilities and hope. Jesus, you are our source. Help us to live the day with you in the centre. And you call us to live together as your body. Help us to share the day well with others. Yours is a revolution of love. Help us to share good news with the last, the lost, and the least. Amen. Let us come to our prayers. I'm going to begin by reading the Words of James K. Baxter.
Father, we sing to you in the furnace. Like the three Jewish children, the hope and the doom of the love of friends is eating up the marrow of our bones. Lord Christ, you are the house in whom we live, the house in which we share the cup of peace, the house of which your body that was is the house of your body that was broken on the cross, the house you have built for us beyond the stars. Lord Holy Spirit, beyond, within, above, beneath all things you give us life. Blaze in our hearts, you who are love himself, till we shine like the noonday sun. Lord God, we are the little children, the feeble ones of the world. Carry us forever in your breast, Lord God. Give us the power by love to be your holy ones. So we take time now to pray for the needs around us. As I pray these prayers, I'll take a short time of silence in between and uh, invite you to uh, just to pray your own prayers in between each thing, each between each sentence. We pray for the hungry and the overfed. May we have enough. We give thanks for the city mission and their work amongst the hungry and the poor. And we pray your blessing upon their ministry, and particularly in this Christmas season. For mourners and the mockers, may we laugh together. We thank you for those whose work it is to care for mourners, for funeral directors and celebrants, for those who uh, care for the deceased. We pray your blessing upon this ministry and pray that as a nation we we may learn to mourn well, to understand the, the part of death, the part that death plays in our lives, and to die well. We pray for victims and the oppressors, that we may share power wisely. We give thanks for organisations that victim support other counselling services who look after people in, in times of distress and care for victims who have been abused, particularly by their workers or the work, sorry, by their employers or church leaders or family members. We pray for all those whose work it is to care for them and bring um, justice and reconciliation to their lives. We pray for peacemakers and warmongers. May clear truth and stern love lead us to harmony. We pray for all those who seek to bring peace in the, in the Middle East, in uh, the Ukraine, in other places where there is distress. We give thanks for peacemakers, for their hard work, for their endurance. Would you bless them at this time? For the silenced and the propagandists, may we speak our own words in truth. We pray your blessing on all those who seek to bring truth into a world full of propaganda and mistruth. We pray for your healing for those who are caught up in theories and ideals and ideas that are are not true, and which affect their understanding and their ability to work and to be in relationship with others. May your truth lead us all. We pray for the unemployed and the overworked. May our impress on the earth be kindly and effective. 
So we pray for those who are unemployed. We pray for those who have been unemployed for most of their lives. We ask you to stir within their hearts the ability to work, to look for work, to understand the, the deep significance and satisfaction of earning their own money. We pray for those who cannot work because of illness or disability. I pray you may bless them and give them a, a deep sense of well-being. We pray for those who are overworked and we pray for justice in their situations. For the troubled and the sleek, may we live together as wounded healers. For the homeless and the cosseted, may our homes be simple, warm and welcoming. Oh God, in a land where there are so many second homes, people who can afford a second home and yet they live, they sit, sit empty for so much at a time when there are so many people who cannot find a home. Lord, would you help us as a nation to find a way forward to be able to provide people with housing. For those who are locked in because of fears and anxieties, that you may bless them and help them to find freedom. For the vibrant and the dying, may we all die to live. So as we go into this day, may we know the blessing of God. So let's join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may God the Creator bless you and keep you. May Jesus, our beloved companion, face you and have mercy upon you. May the Holy Spirit's countenance be turned to you and give you peace. And may the Holy Trinity bless you. For the Divine Spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Well, Fano, it's been good to join with you for the short time of prayer. And pray that all that you do today, you may know God's blessing and peace. In Jesus' name.